and other matters that occur which create confusion for the children is the relationship we have with our in-laws when we have a healthy relationship with our in-laws then naturally the children will have a healthy relationship with us as well but when there is chaos and confusion when it comes to the relationship with in-laws in that particular case there will be chaos and confusion when it comes to our own children let me inform you in Islam once a couple are married you don't interfere with their decisions you don't interfere with their decisions even if it is your son or your daughter you can try and suggest something to them but it is wrong for you to make decisions for them and this message is for parents who have children who are married parents who have children who are married need to understand that let them live their lives let them make their decisions when you were young you made your decisions now it's their turn to make their decisions their children's upbringing is their business not yours now they are married they need to start a life of their own many marriages are suffering great turbulence a lot of them even break because of interference from parents on both sides and it's a fact it really is a fact across the globe this is a problem and we don't understand as muslims take a look at the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he never ever interfered he never ever interfered with any of his daughters husbands and he never interfered in their lives not even once i want to give you one true example of Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu you know his daughter was Aisha radiallahu anha she was married to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one day he passed the room of Aisha radiallahu anha one day Abu Bakr who is the father of Aisha passed the room of Aisha the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was there and they were Aisha radiallahu anha had raised her voice and it was sounded like it was like a discussion with a debate it sounded like that and Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu he knocked the door he was allowed to go in he was permitted to go in he went in he did not ask questions you know most of us when there is a problem with our children and their spouses we side with our children some people say my daughter is right always you are wrong and some people say my son is right you are wrong Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu did not ask questions he didn't even know what was happening he thought there is a debate going on here my daughter is being disrespectful he went in and he admonished her he admonished her he admonished her to the degree that she began to weep then he went away few minutes later he was passing the same room and he heard them laughing he heard them laughing so he knocked the door and he says ashrikani this is the arabic term fi silmikuma can you make me can you allow me to take part in your peace in the same way you made me take part in your war a few minutes ago moments ago i came in and i took part in your war which means the term war is used but it was not a war meaning when there was a problem i came in now when you people are happy can i come in again and the Prophet ﷺ began to laugh and he explained to him, look, there was no problem at all. You overreacted. There was no problem at all. But why I'm mentioning this is, if we are to interfere, it should only be to rectify our side. That's, who, that's the interference. To rectify, to admonish, to be strict. But we cannot begin to make decisions for others. You know, many women, many women complain that sometimes our in-laws don't allow us to be mothers what does that mean 
I'm talking about my part of the world. But I'm sure even in Sri Lanka, everyone has five fingers, isn't it? So we've got the same problems. The poor lady has had a child. Now, normally there is a postnatal depression that a lot of women go through because of the vast sudden change in body. And one person says, you know what, give the child formula milk. The other person says, give the child this type of milk. The other one says, breastfeed the child like this. The other one says, no, give them water. The, other, the poor lady is totally confused. What do I do? You'll find a whole bucket of all sorts of things and every little while she's trying one thing and the other. And the child is all sick now. Why? Because there is chaos. Let the mother do what she wants. Really, you can advise her, you can tell her, but you cannot instruct her. She is the mother. And some people get so passionate. They don't allow mothers to be mothers. They want to be the mothers. Everyone wants to be the mother. And this is a sickness. It is happening across the globe. We need to rectify it because we will not be able to move forward and progress as Muslims unless and until we understand what parenthood is all about. Imagine I have to interfere in my grandchildren every time and that trend continues for generations and generations so rather the grandparents decide that we are now the parents finished we we can change the terminology and call parents grandparents and grandparents parents with all due respect to grandparents then there is another problem and that is the sandwich that a lot of men are put into why because on one hand you have your parents those are your parents you are the child and on the other hand you have your wife and your children now where to go because now there is a discrepancy between the two should I listen to my parents or should I listen to my wife you are now a parent yourself your parents have a position which will never ever drop in Islam they have a very high lofty position but where they are reasonable you will listen to what they say where they are not reasonable you will explain to them like a man to say that do you know what thank you very much I really appreciate your advice and so on even if you don't want to tell them you you know I'm not going to accept what you're saying don't say that tell them no I understand I appreciate I've heard what you said and you know Jazakumullah thank you very much for your advice and so on but where they are unreasonable you do not have to take it you only take that which is reasonable sometimes some people say look you know what and this is a fact my mother comes first because paradise lies under her feet I agree your mother definitely does come first but if the paradise is there in the first place some mothers have hell beneath their feet may Allah protect us what this means is if her life is un-Islamic what paradise do you want under her feet she will begin to tell you to do things which are detrimental to your own self. Then you want to use this excuse to continue listening to what she is saying. She will land you in the same place she has landed. So paradise beneath the feet is correct only when we ensure that whatever we are saying or doing is within the limits of Islam. And what I am telling you this evening is connected to Islam. We are Muslims many people have so many problems you know today we are speaking about parent child relation are you seeing how I have brought into the topic how parents themselves are children of others so the parent child relation can can go through for a few generations sometimes if you have a great grandparent who's alive then there is a parent child parent child parent child relation of three generations where do you draw the line you need to give the freedom to those who are married to live their lives according to what they feel is correct on condition that it is within the Islamic limits the minute they decide we don't want to read Salah you tackle them the minute they decide we don't want to dress Islamically you tackle them you can interfere the minute they decide we don't want to read the Quran and the Sunnah you tackle them you can interfere 
But whether or not they want to eat out or in is not your business. They go out, let them go. Be happy for them. Be happy for them. If they decide we want to go for on a holiday to Hawaii, let them go on holiday. Be happy for them. If they decide, for example, that we would like to we would like to go out maybe for a lecture of this nature. We can't say, look, there'll be no one at home, so you sit, I'm going. Would that be fair? Well, it depends obviously on the situation in the house. In Islam, we are taught that rather the person who's talking stays. So, we have so many issues in the Sharia that are discussed, which are relevant to my life and yours. If only we knew.